I was very new to this technology and the confidence is surely be hampering during the interview. Like if you are purely new to this. So mm-hmm. the confidence buildup was done, right? By the Erdega team. Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Career Transition Series with Edureka. Uh, today we have Mr. Piyush Kumar with us who is going to share his success story so far. Uh, Piyush has completed his uh, full stack development co- internship course with us and is currently working with Cape Gemini as a senior consultant. So Piyush, over to you. We would like to know a little bit about yourself. And first of all, we want to know how did you get started? So uh, basically, my name is Piyush and uh, I'm currently in Hyderabad. So I've done the B.Tech in electronics and communication and mm-hmm. also done a postgraduate diploma in business analytics. Right? Mm-hmm. I have a good experience in the AV industry of overall five years of experience, right? But mm-hmm. uh, during the pandemic, uh, for someone, it was a very bad experience, but for someone, it was a boom. So for me, I think it was a turning point of boom, boom right? Uh, for making my career transition to this IT industry. So I was thinking like I just need to switch my career because I was not getting any growth in my previous industry, right? Mm-hmm. So for that part, uh, I had just taken the Edureka's webinar in the full stack web development internship, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. I just taken and then ma- I make up my mind because uh, during my graduation only, uh, I have some, some interest in making the website development right and html css this thing i was it was making so fascinating with, with to me right so uh doing the web after taking the webinar so i was for sure i uh thought like i have to take this course yeah Amazing. So we see that you have successfully completed this internship program with us. So what was the main factors of this FSD uh, program that excited you to become one of the developers? Okay. So as you know, uh, in the nowadays, like modern technology, technologies are inventing every day, like yeah. you can say, right? So doing a monster, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, React, is, MongoDB, Node.js. So these are the new technologies, and this was the main factor that I chosen to uh, do the full stack development internship flow and starting with the HTML, CSS, and this one. So it was the easy part, so that I can grab it easily, right? But later on, whenever uh, the course going on, so I just keep learning and like this. Great. So also, uh, Piyush, we would like to know from you, what were the concerns or the major concerns before you joined this internship program? Because as you mentioned, like, you know, during the pandemic, uh, you were, you you took a different, uh, your career took a different turn there. So what was the initial concerns that you had before you joined this course with us? Yeah. So um, after choosing the, like after switching to the, career into the IT industry, right? After having a good experience, like five plus experience. So obviously there was so much of it in my mind, like uh, how it will be going, like if I will be eligible for any interviews and all, right? Do they count my experience or not? Or will I be uh, treated as a freshers in this one? So, mm-hmm. or maybe, maybe uh, will I be able to cop up with the colleague, like uh, my teammate, batchmates, right? And will I be able to do the coding, this thing? So these are all coming in my mind. So after uh, having discussion with one on one to one with Edureka team, right? So he explained me very well, and he uh, like addressed me uh, that way that I was totally convinced, and then I was fully get motivated. Like I have to do in this, and I have to give it a best shot of mine. So by that part, uh, it was thing. Great. So, why did you choose uh, Edureka as your learning partner? So, um, as you know, during the pandemic, after the pandemic, right, um, online classes, online um, courses, it was came up, right, mm-hmm. and no one is going to the physical classes or something, right. Mm-hmm. So, for me also, uh, instructor-led trainings are very impactful for me personally. 
right so i have that's why the main reason i have chosen adoreka is that one and apart from that uh, it was like uh, we have uh, personal projects we, we have to make in this course right like i have made a zomato websites and one personal website also project also right okay. and also there are some doubt sessions also uh, where we can came up came up uh, with our doubts and then we can clear our all the doubts with the instructor and mm -hmm. also there are some pas where we can easily get a support uh, like technical support or the um, like dashboard support adoreka website support right lms support basically mm -hmm. so that was the reason mainly uh we are glad that you know we have been able to transform your uh, career aspirations at this point and uh, also like you know mr akash handa has played a very major role in in getting into uh, or exposing you to the real world also at the same time uh, piyush i would like to know that uh, how was the support that you got from the team edureka like for preparing the interview process right so second thing is the confidence right okay. because i was very new to this technology and the confidence is surely be hampering during the interview like if you are purely new to this okay. so the confidence build up was done right by the adega team secondly whatever the questions can be asked or how to prepare for the interviews okay. so that was also a part i got to um, get some guidance from the adoreka team and akash nanda sir obviously and whatever the expertise and the way of uh, teaching of him mm -hmm. it was very good and it was impacted me fully so uh, apart from that whatever i have done the practice and all so that thing uh, came up with this one great so piyush uh, if you could tell us a little bit about the projects that you have built during these uh, during your internship period and also you know the transition up to this point okay so basically uh, during the internship program right so i was uh, building a zomato clone website right so over there we have used the basic in the starting we have used the basic html and css and javascript right and the bootstrap also but uh, later on when the course implemented and going far so we have implemented that project into the react js express node js and mongo db for the database so mm -hmm. these are the modern technologies which are used now as nowadays uh, very much right so uh, by making that for that i learned a lot like what are the challenges came whatever the um, things which are because every day when you are trying to do something right you came to learn new things Exactly. So whenever whenever I'm trying to do something in my project at least right. So so matter was my first project right and second project was my personal project which was uh, my handicraft e-commerce website basically. So I was trying to do that also. Uh, so I have implemented that project also for my personal use and for the the matter website also as for the assignment in the Adobe. exactly so and, and as you mentioned right you know you were learning a new concept so obviously learning and relearning and unlearning is always a difficult process so in this process of your entire internship program uh, what were the difficulties that you overcame and that felt like an achievement to you um, obviously for this course right i am very new to this course and i was very new to this technologies obviously right mm -hmm. so there were so much of challenges like uh, how to write this code and what are the syntax uh, while putting this code what are the how to you how to implement basically that code right mm -hmm. so that was the most more challenges i came up with this one but uh, as uh, i was very grateful that we have a doubt session right so i always came up with the doubts and then i asked to the uh, mr akash handa sir on the doubt session and he clear every doubts uh, very efficiently so this is how i overcome my challenges wonderful so uh, piyush you know in this entire duration of your internship program so what was your best moment like i'm sure you must have uh, days where you didn't wanted to join the session but you had to join it but again at the same time you must have had some good session so if you could you know uh, let us know a little bit about that so basically um, obviously the pride moment or the joyous moment for me during the course right 
because I got placed in Captain Marine during my course internship only. Mm-hmm. I have not completed, and in the middle of the course only I got placed. So mm-hmm. that was the biggest achievement for me because I never expected like in a first shot mm-hmm. I will be uh, joining this top, one of the top company, Captain Marine. Mm-hmm. So that was my biggest achievement and very proud day for me. At least. Congratulations to you, uh, Piyush, for that. And I'm very glad that, you know, even we as a team have been able to fulfill your one of your dreams and, and you are just a step closer to one of your aspirations, right? So on that note, uh, uh, Piyush, do you have any, any message or any advice that you would like to give to young aspirants like you? Sure. So basically, uh, if someone is switching the career or coming as a fresher, right, mm-hmm. and they if they want to become a developer or a full stack developer in the website developer or any other programming language, right. So my suggestion is, uh, you can go for it, but one thing is there, like you should have a passion and interest mm-hmm. towards that particular whatever you are doing. If mm-hmm. you have a passion, right, and if you have an interest, whatever you are doing then surely you can achieve it. If, if I can achieve, then obviously you all guys can achieve it. Great, definitely. So passion does take us, uh, you know, a long way and happy is the man who makes a living out of his uh, passion and hobbies. So with the, on that note, uh, Piyush, we come towards the end of this career transition series. Thank you so much for your time and sharing your insight with all our viewers. Thank you so much.